Analytics, so kind of Zoho CRM 101. We get asked this all the time, and really when people are doing an import, oftentimes people are trying to do mass updates of their accounts or their fields, and they want to have a unique field. And we run into a lot of companies where you know the account names, they've got multiple account names that are all the same, but the addresses are different. And they didn't necessarily take the time to say, you know, it's the IHOP dash city name, right? Let's say they're in restaurants, but so you've got 75 IHOPs because they've got 75 IHOPs that are their customers. Well, one of the things you can do, and then when you go to do an import, you're really just given very limited choices. So kind of wanted to talk to you a little bit about how you can actually set up a unique field of your choosing in any of your records um, so that when you do an import or you want to do a lookup or anything like that, you can actually tag off of that unique field. So if you're watching the video, I'm gonna, you'll, you'll see this visually. If not, I'll kind of step you through it, but it's just, just dead simple to do this. You know, normally if you go and you want to do an import, you go ahead and you upload the file that you're going to import. And let's say you're just going to just do an update. Well, out of the gate, you're just given a couple choices. The account ID, which is a unique Zoho field that's assigned to it, or the account name. But that's not really going to get you what you want. Maybe you want to do it off your own um, company ID or your own record ID or a location ID or whatever you want to call it. So you can't do that. So how do you go ahead and set that up? Real simple. Just go into your customization in the back end, click on modules and fields. In this case, I'm going to do it in accounts. Click into the module you want and then go into that particular layout. And in this case, I'm just, you can add any field, but I'm going to add a single line and I'm going to call it the client number. And then you just want to click on the little three dots that sit there. And that's, that's where you can kind of define the various properties associated with this. And you just want to click do not allow duplicate values. That's it. You just really want to set it as unique. Um, and once you create any field, once you make that field unique, well, then it's going to show up when you try to do an import. So that client number field will show up. So now that's a unique field. That's something that you can import off of and you can update records based upon that field. It's a simple little trick, but it's definitely one that uh, we see quite often, Tyler. And I just wanted to kind of point it out there um, because it's always usually maybe a big aha moment for people when we do that. Yeah, especially if you're trying to tie two systems together, right? So if you had a lot of these accounts in some type of, you know, other database, or maybe you're running your billing or some type of, you know, project management out of, and you want to tie the two ends together, something like the, you know, unique ID from that other system is a good opportunity for a unique field here. Or for a lot of people as well, they'll look at doing it with website, right? So that wouldn't work perfectly for the IHOP with many locations, but uh, the website can also be a nice unique identifier for accounts, right? So whether you had Apple company or Apple, you would know that they're going to have the same website. So that can oftentimes be similar to how an email is unique to a person, that domain or that website's unique to the account. So that's a common one that will be used for um, doing this type of uh, unique identifier. Yeah, and we, yeah, you're right. We do see it oftentimes on the accounting side. There's an outside accounting firm and they have their own different way of kind of referring to each account and each vendor. And, you know, that's one way to tie it together as well.